Okay, you are fanatics. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Guys, today I'm going to show you about the battery mowers. All right, now I, I have quite a collection here, guys, and I got more on the way. All of these mowers are just for you guys who are average homeowners to see how they work. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so your mower will be coming up next. I promise you that. But guys, today we're going to talk about putting your battery mower in storage. And a lot of you guys just you know just stick it in the shed <laughs> that's not how you do it guys so let me go ahead and show you how you should get this done okay guys before we start the most important thing you want to do is make sure you remove that battery um out of your mower because you don't want any chance of that blade spinning when you get ready to take it off okay guys since this is going to be the last time that you use it what you want to do is make sure you go ahead Put that battery on the charger you want to get a full charge before you take it off now keep this in mind when you charge this do not put this in your outdoor shed take these batteries in the house and put them up at room temperature you do not want to store them in the icy cold garage area that makes the battery last a whole lot longer okay you are for next one of the most important things i prefer you to do before you start is to go ahead and get your battery blower Go ahead and use it while you can and blow your lawnmower off. And one of the more important things is open up that battery compartment and blow that area off on the inside. Okay, now that you got it blown off on the inside, flip it on the side. Remember, make sure that the batteries are not in that lawnmower, guys. You don't want to hurt yourself or cut yourself, but blow the bottom of your bore off also. Guys, before I go any further, if this informational has been helpful and you learned something, guys, and you got a Bermuda lawn, screw it. You got a battery lawnmower, guys. You need to click on the subscription button, ring that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you'll be notified by YouTube. Okay, guys, and I want to show you this, too. You know the area where you put that bag or at? Right there? And the, the stuff goes in there. Make sure you blow that compartment out real, real good also and blow all of that stuff off them up in there also before you start the cleaning process <clears throat> i recommend you take the blade off don't clean all this and still have the blade on because you still stand a chance of cutting yourself so always make sure you got some gla glaze on these are rawhide and packed by crescent they're going to be hard to get through always take that blade off <clears throat> ahead of time that way you can easily get up under there to clean some of this debris that's up under there. And um, you may need some PB Blaster or some WD-40, something like that. If your nut is a little resistant, just keep some in there and it'll come off. But you see how long it off. Blade comes off. Make sure you keep up with the washer because you saw a washer. So I just want you to see, see it up close. Guys, another thing you may want to do if you're a novice to this, take your cell phone and take a picture of it before you take it off so you'll remember exactly how it goes back on or even record yourself taking it off so you can go back and look at it and see how to put it back on the proper way okay guys look once you got it up on the table get it up in the air so you can operate on it but you see all this kind of crust or whatever kind of build up guys if you have a paint scraper go ahead and scrape that stuff off once you scrape it off take your blower and blow it again Mine is not that bad, just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is spray a solution on here that's gonna break that down. Let me show you what I got. Okay guys, I'm not using anything spectacular, ordinary stuff, I'm simply using simple green. And a lot of the stuff I leave links to in the, the uh, description if you wanna purchase them off of Amazon through my affiliate link. And this is called Roto Scrub. Now actually, I saw this at a convention I went to called Hardware Huddle that was in, I think, uh, Columbia, South Carolina, one of those places. And th this company was there and they had these right here. So this is going to work good. This is also be available in the description, but let me, let me go ahead and show you how I'm, I'm about to do this. What I'm about to do is spray that solution on there on here. I just want to break down Then once it breaks down, then I'm kind of scrub on it. You might need a bucket with some water so you can really get it kind of steady. Bear in mind, guys, this is electrical don't take the water holes and skeet water all up in there because you could possibly damage some of the electrical components this is not one of those things where it's 
um, water resistant, waterproof. <laughs> you can't dunk this in the water. So be careful with it. A little rain on top of it is not going to hurt. And you can wash it. I'll show you that later. But we're going to spray that and we're going to break that down. Okay, guys. When, when you order these and you get them, don't throw this part away because you can reuse it. Once you get through with it, clean it off. Put it back on there. Same with that right there, guys. And all I'm going to do, spray this on here. Stick this. And my solution, what is my solution? Just regular old dish water, guys. Dawn, uh, I don't care, palm olive, whatever you feel like is going to work for you. Super clean, but what we're after is these suds. Those suds is what's, what activates the cleaning power when you start cleaning that right there. And like I said, guys, just take your bottle, skeet it. Normally, you have to let it sit there for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, whatever the bottle says for your particular degreaser. All right, so we're gonna let this sit here for about five minutes and then we'll come back and then we'll scrub it clean. Okay, hopefully you let it sit there for about five minutes. <laughs> and guys, all we do is simply take this, I'm gonna show you, see my rotor scrub? Stick it, get the suds. We're not sticking it in the water per se. You can put some water on it, but get those suds. The suds is what actually makes this fun and it cleans. Look at that. Now this is the roller scrub, guys. Actually, this is my first time using it and I did not know it was gonna work this great. Oh my God. I might do a single video on um, Instagram showing me using this. Let me speed this up, but this is, this is fun. This is fun. Okay guys, hopefully that was satisfying to you like it was satisfying to me right there. We got that clean off. And guys, like I said, you can rinse this off or wipe it off. It's up to you guys. Once I go over here with the um and clean the front of it, I'm gonna excuse me, the other side, I'm gonna rinse this off also. Um you clean the bottom, guys, and if you wanna kind of wipe off the more, you know, do it gently. Use a light degreaser or Something like the simple green. You can spray it all over. Mine is not that bad, so I'm just going to kind of wipe it down a little bit. Make sure you get the handlebars, all that good stuff. Uh, anything where you see dust that, be careful around those electrical components. I will say that. You don't want to mess it up. All right. Once you got that, guys, take your water hose, but don't put it on jet. Uh, spray directly into the electrical components. Kind of rinse it off. Guys, she could take up some water on the outside now. Throw your handlebars down. You should do All that. Right. Once you rinse the top off, flip her on the side. We already did the bottom. So we want to go ahead and get that gook off there. That rotor scrub worked great, guys. I, I don't know what else to tell you. It's an awesome tool. All you need is a power drill. That's it. And like I said, don't spray directly up in there because you could hurt some electrical components. The best thing I would tell you to do, take your battery blower and blow all of that water out of there. And then just take your, the blower and blow the top of it. Okay, guys, and once you you done that, inspect your blade, guys. And like I said, now would be a good time to sharpen it or to take it to a um, lawnmower shop. And I'll leave the, if you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area, Forest Park, Riverdale, McDonough, I'm going to leave Campbell's Hardware, excuse me, Campbell's Lawn and Equipment phone number down at the bottom of the screen. Call them and ask them how much they'll charge to sharpen your blade. Or if you're looking for a new blade, call them and give them your exact model number and all that, and they could match it up. You but sharpen your blade or you replaced it. I suggest that you put your blade back on the lawnmower, but make sure that the battery is not in the lawnmower when you're putting this blade back on. Okay, 
guys, and you simply just put her up against the wall. She's stored for the winter. So guys, tell me what you think, guys. We put that battery mower up for storage. Um, that way it'll be ready to go when spring comes. You won't have to do anything to it, but crank it up, guys. The only other thing I suggest you do is just spray some, some kind of lubricant around the blade, maybe around the nuts or anything like that, the hinges, so they won't rust out. They won't rust out, but that'll just help keep things moving, guys. Okay, Yard Fanatics, and that's it right there, guys. <laughs> I got four, five more to go, guys. So tell me what you think, guys. Are you going to go ahead and put that battery more up for the winter time? Guys, if you think I forgot about you about how to winterize your gas more, click on the Triple Beauty Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowden, and I'll talk to you soon.